Right guys, this is attempt number two at me talking over myself working through a statistics question. This is question two from the November 2010 paper. Okay, Mr and Mrs Jones are planning a holiday to the Majestic Hotel in the Cape Verde Islands. The table gives information about the prices of holidays to the Majestic Hotel. We've got our departure dates, price per adult for seven nights and price per adult for 14 nights. And the important bit of information at the bottom here is price per child. 95% of adult price for seven nights and 85% of adult price for 14 nights. Question tells us that they're trying to plan a holiday on either the 20th of February for seven nights or 10th of April for 14. Mr and Mrs Jones have two children. Compare the costs. So as you're used to seeing me do now, I'm going to divide the page and I'm going to answer for seven nights first of all and then I'm going to find the cost for 14 nights. So first of all, adult price for seven nights. Well, I'm going on the 20th of February. So looking in my table for the 20th of February comes under here, 18th February to the 8th of March. And the price for an adult is £714. £714 for the price of an adult. Now the price of a child is 95% of the adult price. So to find 95% of 714, I'm going to do 0.95, multiply it by 714. So 0.95 is my multiplier to find 95%. I'm going to find 95% of 714. This time I'm not going to move the camera to the calculator. I'm just going to tell you now that when I type that in, I get £678.30 pence. Okay, so that's 95%, 0.95 times 714, 95% of 714 is £678.30. Now the Jones family, Mr and Mrs Jones and two children, that's two adults and two children, so I need two times 714 and 2 times £678.30. Again, I'm not going to go to my calculator. I'm going to tell you that's 1,428. And this is £1,356.60. Okay, so that's 2 adults, 2 times 714 which is 1,428, and 2 times £678.30, which is £1,356.60. To find the total cost of my holiday then for seven nights, I'm going to add 1,428 to £1,356.60. 1,4,2,8 plus 1,3,5,6.60 equals £2,784.60. Okay, so for seven night holiday, £714 for an adult taken from the table. 95% is the cost of a child, so 0 0.95 times 714 gives me 95% of 714. I've now got here two adults, two children, and I'm adding the adult cost to the child cost to get the total family cost. I'm now going to attempt to stop the video and make a new one where I'll just explain the 14 nights after I've done all the calculation stuff. So see you in a minute, hopefully. Okay, I've been away and written down all the calculations for 14 nights. Hopefully um, this has worked and I've managed to add these two videos together. Anyway, coming back to it, I got £802 for the price of an adult from my table. Remember for 14 nights I was going on the 10th of April. So looking at my table, 10th of April to the 30th of April here, for 14 nights it's going to cost me £802 for an adult. The child price is 85% of the adult price for 14 nights. So here when I found 95%, I did 0.95, the 
multiplier from 95%. On this side, I'm doing 0.85, so this is the multiplier for 85% times by 802 to get me 85% of 802, which is £681.70. I've then done exactly the same as I did over here. I have two adults, 2 times 802. I've got two children, 2 times £681.70. And I've got my totals, both worked out on a calculator, just to be sure, it is a calculator paper. And then finally, I'm adding those two costs together to get the total cost of my holiday. So, zooming out, which is just a case of moving the camera away, it's that high tech. I've got seven nights against 14 nights. I've worked out the price per adult, the price per child, two lots of adults, two lots of children to get my holiday prices. And then the last part of this question would be to compare these costs. Now I'm not going to write this down here because writing is awful while trying to hold this camera. I am going to get a tripod, so hopefully video quality will improve. But, however, comments. I could say that this holiday here is cheaper than this holiday. So for the Jones family, if they want the cheapest holiday, seven nights is definitely the one to go for. Or I might say, as some of you are thinking, 14 nights for an extra just under £200 is a pretty good deal. And so if I work out the cost per night, I will find that this holiday is much better value for money. How can I find the cost per night? Well, I could do the total cost divided by 14 gives me the cost per night. Over here, cost per night, total cost divided by 7.